this is very cool, look at this. This is what they call a sound hose. And it's just a, a piece of tubing, so you can kind of see this long piece of tubing. Open it both ends, ready? All right, now here's the amazing thing, watch this. Now you just give it a little whirl. Oh no, you can do this, you can do a little blow inside. Ooh, that's pretty fun, huh? Ooh, if we had a lot of wind, we would yeah. have a bigger sound. <laughs> well, we could do this for two and a half minutes if you want, but we're not. You hang on here like this, and, and if you get a little swirl, so watch this. If you swirl, listen to that. Is that nice? Okay, now keep it going like that. I'm going to go a little, oh, listen to you a little, a little faster. Watch this. Oh, that's oh. pretty good. Now, faster on that one. Ready? Here we go. Faster on this one. Go faster. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Okay, stop. Oh, that's, right, you, have, so you have many slides. octaves is, on yours. Is. Yours musical, is much better. Musical fifths, if I'm correct. You know? Is that what that is? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> As with those people in the audience. All right, oh. so, so the reason that this works is very, very cool. Because if you know something about this, you will never look at your vacuum cleaner hose the same way again. Uh -huh. So here's what we're doing. As you swing this around, you're actually causing air to come in here. And because this is rippled on the inside, so put your finger inside and kind of feel. See there's ripples oh, sure that are enough. here on the inside? Ridges. See those little ridges? Yeah. So here's what happens. The molecules come in here, hit the little ridge, tumble, and fall, and they create these little vortices. I know, it's it's pretty high high science. Vortices. Uh, vortices. Wow. So next time you're at a cocktail party, you can say, well, I was just swinging around a tube and I, uh, just I created a vortice. Capturing some uh, molecules to right. roll so, them so over the vortices. So if you come through here like this, it actually is the air coming in. So if you stop it here like this and try to swing it around, it'll get you no Nothing. sound at all. And watch this. This is a cool experiment. Paul Doherty is out at the Exploratorium in San Francisco, and here are grown men with PhDs <laughs> doing this stuff. <laughs> All right, so here's the bag. Right. So now watch what happens. We'll swing this around and watch what happens. Ready? So here we go. Nice sound, nice sound, nice sound. A and vacuum. Tell. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Go for it. No sake. more sound. Is that cool? So, so it actually draws the molecules. That's right. And, and so the air is actually coming through it. So if you were a manufacturer of like a, uh, a vacuum cleaner hose company or whatever, you would never make the little ridges on the inside. Otherwise, every time you clean, oh, that's, that's right, what because, would happen. Because they, they, they draw air in, don't now, they? Now, Plumber sure pointed enough. out to me that if you have a gas hookup outside, like for a fireplace or something, they never use this corrugated kind of pipe because your gas place will sure whistle. enough. But then I got thinking, you know, this is... <laughs> a cool one but today we took out our kid cam and and learned that maybe you could find another one so take a look at this on our, our kid cam here a bigger whirly a bigger whirly. fortunately this door had a big whirly and I got a driver all right so you just take the tube and you put this in out the window and you catch the air and you just have a really good driver all right so drive here we go problem is the guy next to you thinks that you're gonna bazooka him all right here listen to that listen Miles an hour, 30 miles an hour. All I have is two words road trip. This is awesome. It's science, people. <laughs> see, there it is. See, now, this is the biggest whirly that in the world. Is Isn't that great. awesome? So, I was going to whirl it for you today, but sticking outside the car was great. And I Much had a driver just in case anybody was wondering. Yes, a little, little right. driver that was there. And, yes. and I'm telling you, I'm going to hook this on with duct tape to the <laughs> other motorists. To see that part. Yeah. Very concerned. Very that, concerned because yes. they thought I was going to bazooka them. But I, <laughs> there was no bazooka. It's just the, the largest whirly ever in the world. You got it?